Welcome back to another episode of the best show on our channel. I really, I wanted to set the you bar set super the bar low. High. <laughs> so today we're playing uh, a puzzle. You call this a puzzle game, right? Mm -hmm. A puzzle game called Sokoban. And before we started the episode, uh, I went to look up what that is uh, translated because it's Japanese, and I assumed there was an English tra translation. And apparently, I'm just stupid because <laughs> it seems like the English translation. Uh, sorry, the the translation to English is just a uh, Sokoban. So it turns out uh, I don't know. I don't know what it means, Daniel. Oh, good. What are we actually doing in this game, aside from working in a warehouse? That's are we a, are we a dock worker? Kinda, yeah. Our boss, our boss comes to us and he's like, "Hey, I need you to put all these boxes over there on those red dots, because obviously everyone can see the red dots, right?" Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I need you to put these boxes over there on those these red dots. Oh, also, the warehouses you'll be working today are the worst designed warehouses ever. It's only big enough to fit one box through, and the boxes are heavy enough that if there, that if there are two together, you can't push them through. And you're kind of like... Please tell me that's actually part of the plot. No. <laughs> I made nearly all of that up. <laughs> Do you think that you think that the plot that like involved uh, just a really bad architect... I just, I have this picture of them actually working in the fact that the boxes are heavy so you can only push one at a time into the plot. Well, that is, I mean, that's basically the reasoning, right? Because you can't, if two boxes are side by side, you can't push both of them at the same time. You can only push one, you can only push them away from each other. Um, okay, so that's the end of the first level. So he'd have one, by the way, if anyone speaks Japanese, could you just please let us know what all this, all this shit says? Also, did I mention that you're driving this one? Am I? Shit. Oh, uh, well, okay. So what did you think was was happening when you were pressing the buttons and the character was moving around the screen? I had no idea. Oh, yeah? I thought that, uh... I thought that we were watching a video and I was just, like, acting along with it. Uh-huh. Also, um, this game is for a really, like, just fucking ancient and also rare Japanese computer that... I could not find any of on eBay. So we are once again having to emulate something that I would have rather not had to have emulated. I know you don't care. Not even a little bit. I don't even know if the audience cares. Um, but yeah, so this was for the NEC PC 8801, I think, which is a computer that, I mean, obviously everyone had. Everyone had one of those. Like, they, they had that right next to their Commodore 64. Right. Which is funny because, I mean... Even, like, most people that... Do you know anyone who ever actually owned a Commodore 64? I know one person who owned a Commodore 64. I know one person as well. Really? Okay. Um, just because, I mean... No, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. You have not fucked everything up. Um, the Commodore 64 was sort of the generation before the NES. So, I mean, if... If we'd been born in, like, 1975, I'm sure everyone we knew would have had a Commodore 64, but we were kind of just right after that. But I don't... I know that this was a... Fuck! <laughs> that was a double move. Was it? That's what I was going to mention. Because we're emulating this, we don't know if the, the wonky controls are because of the emulator or if the game was was programmed this way. Because sometimes when you press a button, you accidentally move twice. Are you just... You're, you fuck it all now? <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna go out, you're gonna push everything up against a wall. So good news, you made a shape. Excellent. Good work. Oh, okay, good. So you can just you can hit F1 and it'll play the level again. There you go. Yeah, it's gonna be okay, champ. You're gonna you're gonna be alright. So yeah, every once in a while I'll press a button and it'll just double move me, which is great for a for a block moving puzzle in which, you know, one wrong move means that the puzzle's broken. Yeah. Also, way to go on breaking that puzzle. Do you even Soko Ban? I'm gonna Ooh. punch you. Ooh, that was close. And sorry, you're gonna what? I'm gonna punch you right in the Soko Ban. <laughs> okay, so if we had to name one part of the anatomy, the Soko Ban. What is the Soko Ban? It's the Soko Ban. It's, you know, it's right next to the shut up. I can tell that you put a lot of thought into this joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did, it, did it keep you awake at night? You're just like, gotta make a joke about punching him in the Soko Band, but it's gotta be just fucking hilarious. It's I'll gotta be just right. It's gotta be, it's gotta <laughs> really <laughs> nail all the key points. <laughs> right in the shut up. Daniel? Mm -hmm. No, it's right next to the shut up. Oh, sorry, Jeez. you're right. I'm sorry. I fucked up your genius Immaculate level joke. joke. Yes. 
Daniel, mm -hmm. you're the worst. <laughs> Sometimes I regret that I don't have any friends who I could have done the show with instead of you. It's hard not having any friends, you know that? Is it? I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, I forgot that you have a billion friends. Oh, I was going to say I have one. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, uh, that's fair. Are we counting our girlfriends? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then I have one, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. We both have one friend. And they're obligated by law <laughs> to be our friends. Wait, wait, hang on. Is that how being in a relationship works? They signed the girlfriend contract. Okay. All right. So now if, if they stop liking me, mm -hmm. can I have them arrested? <laughs> like, I'm breaking up with you. Nope, you can't. If you break up with me, I'm calling the cops. You signed a contract. There's only one way this go down. It goes down. You said you liked me. Now you're stuck with me forever. And then... I always used to tell people that uh, I found my girlfriend at the Girlfriend for Suckers Foundation. Oh. And uh, so whew, that was a double move. Uh, and so uh, she was contra she she was contractually obligated by her by her organization to like me. That's a bummer. Or at least to date me. She doesn't actually have to like me. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the best kind of relationships are the ones that are super one-sided. The best kind of relationships are the ones that are based on contractual obligation. Yeah. I'm just trying to think in my head right now of all the ways that this conversation is just horrible. <laughs> like, there are people out there right now who have been, like, bad relationships that have decided that we are fucking terrible people. And I think I've accepted it. Have you accepted it? Mm -hmm. All right. So well, you... I mean, to be fair, uh -huh. if they think that we're fucking terrible people, uh -huh. that's a really mean thing to, to say, say about, about our, our girlfriends. girlfriends. <sighs> also, if they think that we're terrible people, that's a disparaging thing to say about the Girlfriends for Suckers Foundation. They provide a, a very useful a service. Valuable service. Great. So have you soaked this level in? You know what you're going to do? You know your plan of attack? Not even a little bit. All right. Well, good news. Th that was the good news, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Do you want me to give you a hint? Because I know, no. I know, I know how to do it. I'm smart enough, or I've played it before. Pick one. Okay, good. Sometimes the keys also don't respond. Yep. No, that's not what I want to do. No. I mean, you're right. That's not what you want to do. There is distinctly one thing that you want to do right now. That was the one thing you wanted to do. Good work. You figured it out. Also, you're keeping track of where the dots are, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, they disappear when you step on them, and uh, it can screw you up if you don't know where you're supposed to push, push the boxes. All right, so you're in good shape. In in the game, in real life. <laughs> yeah, in real life, I am a mess. We need to we need to hit that there gym. You ever been uh, to the gym? Yes. Really? Yeah. Why the I mean, I didn't work out, but like... <laughs> <laughs> you went to a gym, stood there, you're like, yeah, this is a gym. It's about what I expected. And then it's left. a nice place. <laughs> I got a good thing going on here. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so now, okay, good. Just going to shit everything up again. Great. Super. Good work. Yep. Nope. Okay. Well, now this... Oh, there. Now this map is completely hosed. You can't do anything. Daniel? It's not sure I can still do something. There. Now you can't do anything. Do you feel better now? You want to hit that there F1 key tiger? Good work. All right. That F1 key tiger. It sounds like it should be an aircraft. This is Fox 9 or 1 talking to, what did I just say? The F1 key tiger. Is, uh, talking to F1, uh, sorry, contacting F1 key tiger. Please give your, what, 20? It's 20, right? No. Yeah. I don't know a single thing about the way that people in the military talk to each other. I just assume that they like, like they get on the radio and they're like, Hey! Tower! What's up? Oh, now I've got a headache. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what caused that? Uh, I don't even know. It just came out of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> it's not like anyone was screaming like an asshole in here. <laughs> Yep. Good times. <laughs> Daniel, mm -hmm. I'd like to apologize for your headache, although I don't really think it was my fault. Oh, yeah? No, who's, whose fault do you think it was? Yours. That's fair. You dick. <laughs> so you got this one all sorted out now, too? Maybe. I've got at least the first couple of steps here sorted out. Well, uh, if you look right now, you've actually you've got it nailed. Like, as long as you don't do something mind-blowingly stupid, 
You've got it. Or get a double move. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of, do I want to just do this? Mm, well, actually, no, you can do that if you want to. That would still work. There's no reason not to at this point. At this point, it's really just the order in which you do things. If that had been a double move, you would have been hosed. No, I could have. it could have moved one further up. No, no, I mean, uh, moving to the right there. You would have oh. pushed that one to the right there into the corner. Yeah, that would, and have that would have been That would have been game motherfucking over. When game over isn't enough, game motherfucking over. That was a double move. Ooh, I hate it when that happens. I don't, I really, I really would like to know if that's... If that's a, built into the fucking game. <laughs> if they felt like the game needed a deeper challenge. Well, didn't I tell you the part of the story is that we're fucking clumsy? Oh, I thought you were going to say we were baked at work. <laughs> <laughs> the story of this game is, is that before we went to work, we just got fucking wasted. Our we, boss, we're having we're having some deep relationship troubles. This is, a, this is actually a really deep game with a compelling story about personal drama. It's just all in the manual. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't double move. Don't double move. Yay! That would have been horrible. All right, there you go. On to level three. <laughs> only, you mean level four? Is this level four? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, only uh, only sixteen levels. Sixteen to go. levels to go. There are twenty levels in this. Although I suppose if you could do basic math, you would have already known that. So there's only one way to start this, and yeah, that's it. Otherwise, again, you're just hosed. So this is where the puzzles start getting like actually kind of difficult. So if there are pauses here while we're thinking, I apologize, but I'll I'll keep trying to keep you know. The, uh, the energy way up there. You're failing. All right, talk me through it. What are you thinking right now? That was the only possible move. Yep. Keep talking. Tell me what you're thinking. <sighs> right now, I'm thinking I'd rather be playing Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we work with a dude named Mario. However, a lifetime of playing video games has taught me that that is not how you pronounce that name. To me, it will always, for now and forever, be Mario. Because, you know... Racism. But what? What? Wait, what? What happened? What just <laughs> happened? Did I become a racist and I didn't even know it? Yep. Oh, shit. I hate it when that happens. Um, so is the, is the correct pronunciation... Mario, or is it really either one is, is correct? Well, I don't fucking know. Well, you're the one who claimed that I was being a racist, so now I want you to answer the goddamn question. No, see, as not a racist... Okay, good. I don't make immediate snap judgments, assuming I know all of the facts. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that that was one of the things that, uh... Well, I don't judge people just based on their name or ethnicity, that's for sure. I... You're racist. But I wasn't judging anyone. I was asking what the correct pronunciation was. After saying that you just assumed it because video games taught you how Italians pronounce things. Well, what I was saying was that I assumed it because that's the only way I'd ever heard it. So, you know, when I, when I, when I hear Princess Peach say, Mario! I just assumed you that's You have a headache and wish she didn't say that? <laughs> Whatever you do, do not move either of those blocks right now. Yeah, okay. You see why? Yeah. No, I was actually thinking through that. I was thinking what okay. happens if I move those back down the passage or something. Yeah. Basically, um, spoilers. Uh, you you fail. To... Yes. But the way that you got to deal with those is you have to move them down into the room that you're in right now and yeah. then deal with them. Okay. Just making sure, making sure that we were talking it up so that even the well, people okay. who weren't, even the, even the people who watch our show who are stupid understand what's going on. Well, they watch our show, so what's that really say? That um, they need They're super better, smart people. I was going to say they need better hobbies. And charming. And attractive. Oh, definitely. And they, they're the most popular kids at their school. And uh, Unless they don't go to school, in which case in their workplace. Oh, okay. Or just in the place that they hang out all the time. Yeah. Because, you know, some people don't have jobs, and I envy the shit out of them. <laughs> and all of their crippling debt. Well, I mean, some people are just independently wealthy. Oh, yeah, no, and those people I wouldn't envy the shit out of. Also, if you're, if you're, if you're independently wealthy, please donate to Two Players to Hurt. We recommend a starting donation of $65 million. Jesus Christ! Well, you certainly only have one gear, don't you? Just zero to $65 million. No, I've got like seven gears. They go up from $65 million. Oh, okay, great. What's the top gear? Uh, three billion. Okay. I thought you were going to like use a fake number like $11 billion. No, how would they give us $11 billion, Thomas? It's a fake number. I, I, that was... 
that was the Why? that was the joke. Why are you even like? Do you even want money? I I yes, I'd like eleven billion dollars. Well, then you wouldn't be able to spend it on anything because you just have an eleven billion dollar bill. <laughs> just, <laughs> I can imagine the the treasurer just being like, "So we have this." Ooh, I thought you were in trouble for a second, but you you figured it out. Um. So we have this request. Someone wants an $110 billion bill. They realize they won't ever be able to spend it on anything, right? We don't actually know. We're just assuming that they're an idiot. And they have assumed correctly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so which one are you going to do first here? That one? The ones you're working on right now? I think it was about to double move me. Yeah? I think so because I pressed up and it double moved me. Ah. <sighs> Everything's okay. Everything is still awesome. Nothing is broken yet. Now, the nice thing about this game is it does allow you to level select at the very beginning. Yeah. So if I'm right close to finishing a fucking level and it double moves me into a corner, <laughs> fuck that noise. I'm just re I'm just <laughs> skipping the level. Can you explain to me uh, the scientific basis on which you plan to fuck noise? Um, with my penis. Okay, good, good. Glad that you were able to bring your penis into this this episode. Well, you were asking me how I was going to fuck noise. How would you fuck noise, Thomas, without your penis? No, I was going to say that you can't do it because it's uh, it's physically impossible. Because noise is not, uh, noise doesn't have any mass, therefore you... You don't need uh, mass to fuck something. No. Care to, care to walk me through the scientific basis of that one? No. No? Are you talking out your mass? Ooh, very good. <laughs> I'm uh, not even ashamed of you. No? All right, so finish off this map, and then that's uh, that's this episode. Just don't double move right now. Thank you. Had you double moved. Could have also double moved me right there. That's true. And then you would have been super fucked. There's only one more place that can double move me that would fuck me. Uh, oh, right here. Oh, God. Please don't double. Okay. All right, join us next time on Two Player Start, where we'll be playing level, level five. You excited? This doesn't look that hard. No. Well, I mean, I'm guessing it's going to be deceptively difficult, but just from the looks of it, this this doesn't look as challenging as the other levels we were just doing. All right. Well, next time on Two Player Start, we'll find out if Daniel eats his words, and then push it up, and then out of the room. Does that fuck you? That was another one. <laughs> So to answer your question, yes. <laughs> well, hey, hey there, Internet. My name is Tom. And I'm Daniel. And we are brothers. We're going to play some games for you. Uh, we figured we would start this series off with uh, just an old game that we both played. When